Hi there, my name is Raul and welcome. Today, what I'm going to show you is the company property feature within Clipfolio. It's a very useful feature if you are especially managing clients um, as a agency. So what you will be able to do is you'll be able to have a template dashboard that you can import into your client account. So you will only do the work once by creating a template dashboard and then you'll be able to use the same dashboard over and over again within your client accounts. So let's take a look at how this is set up. On my screen here, I have a dashboard called analytics. And on this dashboard, I have a clip called GA sessions, and it is tracking the number of sessions over this year so far on my website. Now behind this dashboard is a dynamic data source. So let's take a look at that data source. Now this data source is dynamic because it uses a variable. Now we do have resources available that will explain what those are and it will be linked on the um, description below so a variable is something that will uh, be dynamic and you can insert whatever value you want within this query so in this case we are using a variable called ga profile id to represent the, G the profile id for google analytics for which we want to get data for so if we take a look at the company properties, that is where we have set the GA profile ID value. So if you want to follow along, this is how we get there. We just click on account and we go into the company tab and then we click on the properties panel on the left. And here is where you can add your company property. You can see some of the standard ones and these are the, cu the custom ones that we created. To create one, you just click on add new company property and you'll be able to name it and provide a valid value. So in my case, I have mine named GA profile ID and has a value. So that is what is being passed into my dynamic data source to generate my clip on my dashboard. So now I have this master template and I would love to import this into my client account. So let's see how we can go about doing that. So if you take a look at my list of clients, I already have one that has been set up. And let's just go into it and we will see that when we go into our company properties, we have the company property already set up here as well. So you need to do the same thing within your client account. Um, so again, you need to click on the add a new company property button and make sure that you put in the exact same name and the corresponding value for this client account. So what this will ensure is that when you import the template dashboard into the client account, into this client account, this client is only going to see their data. Okay, so that is always step one before you do the import into the client account to set up the company property. Now that we have the company property set up, we can import the dashboard. So we will go into the dashboards tab and we will import and it is importing from my main account here. And that is the dashboard that I want to import. And now we want to import all the assets, including the clips and the data sources. Here you go, we have our dashboard. We can see that it's thinking for a little while because it is fetching the data again for this specific client account. And there you have it. This is the data for this specific client account. So you can see how this could be super helpful for you when you have multiple clients because you can import the same master template dashboard from your master account into various clients and you only have to do the work once. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want more tips and tricks, stay tuned. Thank you so much again and have a great one.